favorite story I haven't had the chance to tell on the podcast? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I will tell you, I'll tell you something about myself. I just noticed this. Um, how do I, okay, you know, this is a better question anyway. You know, who cares about the last story? How did I meet my wife? Um, uh, I worked, what happened was I worked at Subway with my uh, best friend Ginny, different Ginny. Uh, this Ginny was Sue in um, uh, Ode to Sue, if you've seen the versions. <coughs> and um, we worked together at Subway, and she got a job at Chili's that was opening up in the area, but it, wasn't, it was like not built yet. There was like a trailer that you could apply for. And so she told me to get a job there, and I did. And uh, the first week, I was a busser, and then my wife, Jenny, was a hostess, and the busters and the hostesses had a headset they could communicate to each other with, so we could tell the hostesses, hey, table 36 is clear, you can clear, you can see this table, uh, 11 is clear, you just go back and forth, you just tell them so they know. And, um, <coughs> and, uh, so, um... I remember meeting Jenny, and I, I, Derek tells the story, because I was living with Derek at the time, that I came home from, was living with Derek? Maybe. I came home, and I said, I just met the coolest girl ever, and I went and I like, would rave about Jenny and how cool she was. First of all, <coughs> I found out that she um, loves CKY. And Jackass, which was a huge, a huge plus for me. That was awesome. And um, she was super funny and outgoing and uh, very cute. Um, but I always thought she was like way, way, way out of my league. And so we were just in the, we just were friends for a long time. And then it worked out where we started dating. So I'm a very lucky guy. Uh, I was 18 when I met Jenny, <coughs> so 10 years ago, and uh, I mean it was cool because we were, you know, we've been best friends for all that time, and then we started dating, and then now we're married, so it's just cool to like actually marry your best friend, it's a cool thing. Uh, we started dating in 2009, it's not that long ago, if you think about it. <coughs> How did I propose? Um, we went down to a landmark in San Diego called the Hotel Dell. Very pretty there. It was at night. It was, it was actually on Rocco's birthday. Um, that was one night that we didn't have the kids. So um, before Christmas, I wanted to do it before Christmas. And so uh, it was very cold. Uh, and windy and raining, but uh, they always get a really big Christmas tree and they put it up in the hotel. And so I thought it'd be really cool to do it outside the hotel, and then we go look at the Christmas tree and see the carolers and all that stuff. And uh, <laughs> uh, it was, as I said, really cold. And I had my jacket, but I had the, the the ring in my breast pocket, and it was in a box that was like that big because if you opened it up, a light would shine on the ring so you could see it at night. And so, um, she didn't have a jacket, she had like a, a sweater, but it wasn't that warm. And so, normally I would offer her my jacket, but I couldn't, because she would feel, obviously feel this huge bulge of a ring box. And so, um, I, uh, couldn't offer her my jacket. And so, we, <laughs> she was cold, and I was like, just trying to warm her up, whatever, and so, <coughs> Finally, we got to a spot, and like the whole time, I'm like, when should I do it? Like, when do you do it? And we kept walking, and I was like, here, no, not here, here, no. I kept chickening out until finally, I was like, this is the spot. And so, I I did it there, and man, I'll tell you, I knew, I knew she was gonna say yes. There was no way, not to be cocky, but there's no way she wasn't gonna say yes. We were just we talked about it before, and I just knew. I was still like terrified. I was so nervous. But, uh, she said yes. But I started off awfully. I was like, Ginny, because I didn't know how to start, how do you start that, you know? Never. 
<coughs> it's freezing. <coughs> I put on this really cool jacket that we have for if you ever want to like do like a ski dance parody. This jacket we found at a thrift store for I think it was three dollars, and uh, it's funny because wait. Uh, the zipper is a thermometer. How cool is that? I don't think it works though. Well, maybe. Because it's 60 degrees in here. So maybe it's not. But Okay. Uh, what, have I, what would I have done if she said no? I've been very surprised. Uh... Honestly, I feel like if they say no, then you break up, right? Is that not how it goes? It's like a all or nothing? I kind of feel like if you propose to somebody and they say no, it's like... Like, where, where can you possibly go from there, you know? Uh, yeah, this is, probably, this is probably my best look. What time is it? I want to go home. No offense, I love you guys. Uh... Well, this is, I'm, I don't know. You guys, I'm having fun. Uh, I don't know if this is interesting to you or not, but I'm enjoying it. So thank you for hanging out. I have 90 people watching, which is pretty cool. So thanks, guys. Especially, yeah, go study. Who needs to study? Uh, did I get down on one knee? I did. I did at the end. I, I, I said my whole spiel first. You know, it was like, uh, I'm not going to repeat it because I honestly don't even know what I said. But um, I said the whole thing. And then I got it out, and then I went down on one knee, and then said, will you marry me? That's, because I, I feel like you have, you got to do it. I will tell you this story of, I did it, it was outside, and people started walking towards us, and I was like, I can't, I can't go down on one knee in front of people. That is way too embarrassing. And so I just said, one second, and I literally paused the proposal because, uh, I, I was embarrassed, and then luckily they turned the corner and they didn't go down where we were, and then I, I resumed the proposal. All right, uh, Camus Kando, thank you for hanging out. You hung up for a long time. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, have a good dinner. Yeah, I yeah. I did it, the Hotel Del is right by the beach. I did it right next to the beach. But I, I, um, I think, I know Rocco is the same way. Like, presentation is always a big thing of whether you should give someone a gift or whatever. So I made sure that, like, when I proposed, like, my back was facing, like, the, the lights and it looked really, really cool from behind me, too. So, like, it was a cool shot for her, thinking of it as, like, a photographer or, like, how do you film a video, like, I gave her like the best possible shot of the, the area, so it would be like a good memory for her. I don't know. <coughs> uh, Jenny, when she found out what I did, well, I started Mega 64 um, after I met her. Like I knew her first, and then we we started. Um, I, I think she. I mean, she was. She's been along for the whole entire thing. And, uh, I think she's really proud of where it's gone. I know she is. Uh, you know, before it was, she thought it was just us filming videos and she thought it was really funny that we were trying to get to public access and then she's just been around for the whole entire thing. So, um, yeah, I think that that's, that's cool that she was there to, like, experience that whole thing with me. Um, that I did ask her parents before just to be traditional. Just to, out of, out of respect, you know. And they said yes. 